Good morning, third graders. I hope you had a great weekend. It is Monday today, and we are going to start our next project. So I'm super excited that we get to do this. I am bummed that I am not there with you, but I know you guys are gonna do great on this. We're gonna be working in PowerPoint. So we're gonna go ahead and click on PowerPoint, and when it comes up, it's gonna look like this. And the first thing we wanna do is choose a plain white PowerPoint background. So I'm gonna hit choose. After I do that, I have my slide here. I can get additional slides by clicking over on the tile and hitting the return button. That will get me extra slides. To get rid of slides, I'm gonna click on it and hit delete. For this project, you are going to need eight slides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight slides. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get my eight slides all in there, ready to go. So I have all eight slides. Then I'm gonna click on my first slide and my um, title is written at the top of your packet. Your title is either plant eating dinosaurs or meat eating dinosaurs. Make sure you capitalize your title appropriately and make sure you spell it correctly. It's on your packet, so there's no reason to spell it wrong. Then you're gonna go ahead and put your name in there as well. Slide two, you could click on, and your title is General, General Dinosaur Facts. Slide three depends on what you're doing. If you're doing, for example, plant-eating dinosaurs, my third slide is going to be, click up here, Brachiosaurus. I think I spelled that right. And again, everything is spelled up there for you. If you have the meat eating dinosaurs, obviously, you're going to have a different third slide based on one, whatever dinosaur there is uh, that comes up there. The next thing we got to talk about is how do we type in facts? So you were asked to have two general dinosaur facts. So using your packet, you might have written for general dinosaur facts, something like the name dinosaur means um, frighten frighteningly big lizard, period at the end. If you get something like this, it means that you have a spelling mistake. And yes, you could go ahead and fix that spelling mistake. To get another bullet point, all you have to do is hit return. You'll get another bullet point, and then you can go ahead and put your next one. You could say maybe something like dinosaurs lived millions of years ago. And there are my two facts. Now, if you happen to do more facts, awesome, go ahead and put them in. But you need at least two. So you'll go ahead and then uh, on this slide, you'll go ahead and write your facts. Fourth slide, put your title in, write your facts. Fifth slide, write your title and write your facts. Obviously on this one, you just start putting your title and your name. Let's get into backgrounds. For background, you're gonna click on the slide you're going to go up to Format, Slide Background, and I could choose a solid color. Maybe I want to choose a light green and hit Apply. That's all there is to it. Now, there are some things we have to be careful of, though. If I go to Format, Slide Background, and I choose something like maybe that and hit Apply, you can see that makes it very difficult to read. That's probably not the best choice. We want to make choices that make it very easy to read our PowerPoint. So maybe a light tan, that would be a better choice. The other type of background we can do is a gradient. I'm going to click on gradient, and the first thing I have to do is choose a style. If I don't choose a style, it won't let me do any of these other pieces. So I'm going to hit the down arrow here, 
and I'm gonna choose one of these styles. It does not matter to me which one I wanna do. Maybe I wanna do rectangular. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And I have my two colors. I could go ahead and click on the arrow and choose a different color. Maybe I wanna add another color. I could click on it, move these arrows around, choose a different color. Maybe I want a green. Uh, maybe I want another color. Maybe I want a, um, a yellow. Now, ladies and gentlemen, third graders, we do have a rule, no more than four colors. We are not putting 10 colors on here, ladies and gentlemen. Four colors is all we are going to do. So I have one, two, three, and four. If I wanna get rid of one, I can click on it and hit delete. That's how you get rid of one. Now, once I have that done, I can hit apply. And there is my color. So you need to have a background on each slide. Okay. So your job today, as you are working third graders, is to bring up a PowerPoint project and go ahead and put in your eight slides. Okay. So I'm just going to drag down, put in my eight slides. Go ahead and type your title in. Start typing your facts. And then put your colors in. You might not get done with everything. That's okay. We're going to be working on this for quite some time. So don't worry about it. Just get as far as you can and have a lot of fun as you are exploring this. If you have any questions, you can talk to Mrs. Kios and she can help you out. I hope you guys have a great time doing this. I miss you all and have a great rest of your day.